Often people talk about life as a journey. And while there is merit in this, I see us as travellers who joined together four long years ago. A cohesive group of travellers. Some will continue to travel together. Others are ready to separate and travel alone. Having the strength to choose our own roadmap and destiny, thanks to the lessons we have learned at Brooks High School and the experiences we have had. As Robert Frost, a well-known poet says, two roads diverge in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveller. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. And thus it began with the class of 2020 in 2017. Our travels together were just beginning. First day nerves and jitters, everyone so small. Our first formal instructions, form a group circle, introduce ourselves. We were so nervous. We all just stood there, silent. The die was cast. We suddenly belonged to a group, A, B, C, and D. Each would have its own peculiar and particular identity. Cooper, Bonnie, Bull, and Willis, they had a challenge on their hands. The year passed in a blur. We were rowdy rebels. There were many memorable moments. Our first beach carnival, Blake Pike crying at the movie excursion watching Wonder, <laughs> and Miss Rose's helpful bystander NYC speeches. They touched a nerve that is tingling still. Although we didn't appreciate it at the time, she was trying to set us on the right road. We started to feel that we belonged, no longer sole travellers. We were part of a community who cared for us. We were travelling together. Then suddenly we hit year eight. There were plenty of hits and punches and fun times. <laughs> Murray, Moore, Blundell and Ponting didn't know what had hit them. Hopefully we were a little wiser, or maybe not entering 2018. We travelled the excursion trail. Our visit, visit to the lavender farm sounds innocent enough. However, it ended with us getting banned from the farm, thanks to those loud-mouthed boys in 8A and B. <laughs> Classes became a little harder. We trans transitioned from our real-life daily drama to the actual drama production of the decades. Whoever thought us rebels would be able to pull off a performance like that? We learned to work together, rely on each other and succeed. Characteristics that would be drawn upon us on our further travels, a high school highlight. Sadness struck us too. Although we had only known him for a short period of time, Mr. Chell's passing made us realise life is too short not to be taking every opportunity that we come across on our travels. Travelling up to year nine, we actually grew wiser and taller. We all remember the day Heath Moore came back and was suddenly six foot. <laughs> we started to mature as a group. We needed to, otherwise the road we were travelling would be leading us to a dead end. The newspaper fashion show created great excitement. Who could believe that such small print could cover so many body parts? We saw more of Logan Gardner than we care to imagine. <laughs> Nothing more enjoyable than the colour runs. A great chance for Mr Bonnie to throw paint at us and enjoy every moment. This is what we remember, the fun times. Our U9 teachers of Milton, Mackerel, Blundell, Bush Harris, Reynolds, Perkins and Paget worked hard to engage us in our studies so we could, in turn, travel a successful road into the future. They helped us develop a strong bond that we as a grade appreciate so much. Thank you. And so we moved into our final leg of our travels along our shared path to 2020. We journeyed on as a group, but at the same time we were developing as individuals we were beginning to make individual choices that will impact on our destinations after this year. Speaking of this year, year 10, our year, a year of survival, literally. The first six, week, six weeks passed quickly, adjusting to our new teachers who had become our mentors, our pillars. Barwick, Smith, Sade, Williams and the old heads of Mackerel, Blundell, Bonnie and Cooper. A few new relationships, a few more broken ones. Then the virus hit. Our travels moved into uncharted territory. Learning from home became the norm. Face-to-face -face friendships no longer an option. We had to take resp responsibility for our learning. We had to take responsibility for ourselves and our studies, or lack of. We were given a glimpse of what life will be like without the support and structure of school. We were scared. We missed our teachers, our friends, and even our schoolwork. Who would have thought? For the ones who couldn't wait to get out of here, suddenly realising Time was ticking, fast. We finally returned. So many highlights in our senior year. 
Trudging through mud in our final cross country, sirens raged at our movie night. Thanks, Q-Day. <laughs> we danced away at the athletics carnival. Who could forget Brooks has talent? We had the time of our lives. And of course it would snow. It is 2020. Friendship groups changed. Some relationships blossomed. Others were challenged. And some just completely fell apart, only to be mended by the end of the next break. <laughs> and thanks to Tyron, Logan, and Connor, we learned that mullets need to stay in the 80s. <laughs> Reality hit. We knew that our time together was almost over. Sadness mingled with the expectation of moving on. We knew that our leavers activities and our formal would be our final swan song before our paths moved on to different routes where we will make our own choices. Thank you to all of our teachers who cared for us, supported us, challenged us, cried with us, laughed with us, understood us and believed in us. To every person at this school who, who made this place safe and enjoyable and somewhere where we knew we belonged, thank you. You have empowered us to know that we are ready to move on alone and we can do it. We will miss Mr Barwick's hair, the beach carnival, Evelyn if it rained, the hash browns, Mr J saying hello every day, Mr Irwin's wolf whistles, fire alarms going off, Miss Marshall calling everyone treasure, Mr Blundell's bad jokes, Mr Bush Harris's pronunciations, and the Rainbow Bus. <laughs> I leave you, the class of 2020, to take all you have learned. The relationships, the friendships, the knowledge, and choose your own path. Nothing will ever be the same again. We are stronger and we are ready. We have nothing to fear. Please know that each member of the class of 2020 will look back with a sense of thankfulness and joy. We have the strength now to choose our own path, the right path. As Robert Frost perfectly summarises, I shall be telling this with a sigh, some are ages and ages hence. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one most travelled by, and that has made all the difference. Thank you to all the Brooks High School staff who have given us the courage to go on alone, and good luck to the class of 2020. Safe travels.